We're going to Louisville. White shirt, jeans, and a light gray jacket. I am on to see my husband. I'm happy. I'm happy to see my husband. Don't do it. I'm sorry. Does it hurt? It really only hurts when I think about it, which is pretty much all the time. No, no, no. The way you. These are for hot. I get shot in the leg. I don't get any cookies. You know he's going to hate the attention. It's cookies, not cake. I've been thinking about it. The entire time I've known Hotch, I don't think I've ever seen him blink. I know. It's weird. Classic alpha male behavior. Do you think he stared down a foyer? Maybe. Could be what saved his life. Do you think he stared the whole time, like with each staff? I have no idea. Is he okay? I wouldn't be, but I'm a blinker. 1120. What's this? You told me you were clear to travel. You lied. Naughty boy. Uh, no, I didn't. I am a doctor, so technically it wasn't a lie. What was it then? Um, second opinion. Huh. You're my bitch now. Oh, Jesus Christ! I got something here that might help us uh, with that. Te technically, we have something here that might help with that. The Levington was involved in a serial rape case, all involving minors, and it never went to trial. Rita Haslat? A uh, former social worker attained said former status when she was fired from the DCFS for gross negligence. In one of her cases, a seven-year-old boy starved to death. To the crimes of the victims and probably works in the justice system. Garcia? On, On it. it. All right, well, we know what the victims have in common. We just need to find out. Hey, that kid. The, uh, smart one. I could use a little help. Reed? Reed here. Crossword question. Ten letters. Crater creator. Ten letters. Crater creator. Arctangent. Did you get that? Damn, she's smart. Mm hmm Reed, what did I miss? Oh, man, you're not going to believe this. Some moron just posted a blog called What Would Carl Sagan Do? No, read the case. What's the case? What are you talking about? These emails from Hotch. Take a look at this. New case to review. Emails from Hotch? I didn't get any emails from Hotch, did I? Nothing. <laughs> you remember Detective Owen Kim? From the stalker case. Yeah, you remember that case, don't you, Spence? I do remember that case. Yeah, ever talk to, um, what, Lila anymore? You know, I think we should probably focus on this case right now. It's a little more pertinent. Human blood consumption, or clinical vampirism, is known as Renfield syndrome. It's named after the uh, insect-eating character in Bram Stoker's novel, Dracula. Uh, it's not the same thing at all. As a matter of fact, I, I, we should refer to this unsub as a vampirist, not a vampire. And they would be attracted to the subculture merely for its professed worship of blood. Okay, so everything looks like it's password protected, so you might not even be able to... You're in already, aren't you? Password was Cullen. Of course. Colin? Cullen. The vampire family from Twilight. What's Twilight? Do you ever read anything other than technical books? Not much in English. <laughs> and I am going to go talk to Tara's BFF before the media requests come in. It gets too crazy. What's a BFF? <laughs> Best friend forever. You have a profile to deliver. All right, I should probably work on it a little more. And... What are you doing with my phone? Derek, hey, um, Spence is ready for the profile. Why, yes, he is right here. Thanks. I'll be back. Hey! Oh, and this is from the man whose favorite record is the Beatles' White Album. Just because Manson hijacked it doesn't have to ruin it for the rest of us. <laughs> That's why I stick to Beethoven. There's no chance of guilt by association. Well, yeah? <laughs> have, you, have you ever seen a movie called A Clockwork Orange? Writer Cyril It would be easy for us to blame him. Easy? Yeah, why not just say it's his fault, and then we can all just forget about it. But uh, the problem is, I have an iodetic memory, and that's not what happened. A call that tells Hotch where to go. Reed, what did he say exactly? 
Haley's hair looks good dark. She's lost some weight. Must be because of all the stress you caused her. Where's the little man? Oh, there he is now. You think he likes Captain America because of you? That's your wife in the other line. Hold, please. Hi. Open the gate and I'll drive in. I see checkmate in five. What do you see? I see it in three. Checkmate in 12. No way. Let me show you. Isaac Asimov wrote, in life, unlike chess, the game continues after checkmate. Two different mechanisms, strangulation and hyperventilation, create the same effect, uh, oxygen deprivation in the brain. Um... Hey, kid. Not a good idea. Let me see it. What planet is this dude from? He doesn't want us to win the contest. Um, I, I, uh, I think the more accurate statement would be he doesn't want us to participate in the contest uh, at all. Unable to stop what he thought he had complete control of, all because he wanted to participate in what I consider to be a, a pretty, pretty lame game. So, I mean, your, your text is actually completely accurate. I don't want you to win the contest because I, I don't want you to play the game. You all believe this crap? What is that? It's called a star puzzle. It's basically impossible to figure out. You have to put all of the pieces back together to form a perfect star. But the origin of it is um, kind of a romantic tale. There was this young prince who wanted to win the heart of the fairest maiden in the land. So he climbed to the top of the tallest tower in the kingdom and he caught a falling star for her. Unfortunately, he was so excited that he dropped it and it smashed into all of these pieces. So he frantically put it back together again to prove his undying love to her, and he succeeded, and they lived happily ever after. That doesn't make any sense. What do you mean? You can't catch a falling star. It would burn up in the atmosphere. Yeah, but it's not literal read, it's a fable. But there's no moral. Uh, fables have morals. Okay, so it's just a romantic little story. And the, the point is, it's basically impossible to do because you have to take all of those pieces and fit them together exactly. There's a lot to hate about you, Dr. Reed. But play poker with him sometime. Try playing chess with him. Or go. You're so mean to me sometimes. I'm not mean to you, you're just dumb. He's kind of mean to me sometimes. And he says, he says, dumb, dumb, dumb idiot. And I look at myself in the mirror and I say, dumb, dumb idiot. You're why I'm insecure. Uh-huh, what's that? You're not enjoying this, are you? I like a good paper trail. I find it meditative. Is it really that hard for you to be normal just one time? There are lots of ways that sons defeat their fathers. I just keep getting PhDs. So, how long is it going to take you to get in that ditch? Get in that ditch? I, I got shot in the knee, remember? My, my doctor says I'm not allowed to do any climbing. It's a ditch. New boots, huh? Italian leather? Yeah, what can I tell you? Do you have any ideas why? No. Well, I guess there is a first time for everything. Hey, Rossi, I'm gonna need a little bit of help getting out of this ditch. Rossi. Rossi? Hey. I got it. There's an eye. I actually think San Quentin was nicer. Yeah, trust me, it's not. What do you mean? Hey, where's Hotch? Budget meeting. Well, maybe I'll get us a raise. They're cutting, not raising. I just hope they don't take the coffee. I'd quit. Oh, yeah. That'll save them like 50 bucks a week. 
We're gonna bring in the toys. Be careful with those. I don't need broken MP5s on our budget. Hey guys, here's the thing. I don't think I technically have authorization to carry a weapon like that. You don't. You know, we're gonna have a victim. You know, contrary to popular belief, decapitation is not that easy. Hmm. You don't often hear popular and decapitation in the same sentence. Oh, God. <coughs> oh, we're definitely in the right place. Guys, just breathe through your nose like normal. Smell is the weakest sense. In a few more minutes, you won't even notice it. What about the taste? <coughs> I think that's in your head. Well, this is where he decapitated him. Guys, come look at this. I'm ready for that smell weakness to kick in any time, Reed. Hey, have a good weekend, JJ. Sorry. <sighs> there goes my beach house rental. And my non-refundable sin to win weekend in Atlantic City. Sin to win. Yeah. And I always win big. I didn't have any plans. Ugh, this heat is brutal. You know, it isn't so much the heat as it is the humidity. At some point, it doesn't matter how you look at it. It all sucks. Your love, right before he kills them. Hey, have you read The Illustrated Man? Nope. Oh, it's amazing. It's a collection of short stories by Ray Bradbury based around the metafictive device of a man who's covered in tattoos drawn by a woman from the future. Uh-huh. At nighttime, the tattoos come to life and tell a story. It's pretty awesome. These do tell a story. What's up? Our man here was a prolific journal. With teeny, tiny handwriting. He probably had counseling at some point where journaling was part of his therapy. That's what we were thinking. And? And, uh... Well, you know, the two of us, it would take us, like, three days to read all of this stuff. You guys owe me. It's no wonder. Three cards, please. <clears throat> three cards for the lady? And I'm going to take one card. Ooh, one card. Straight or a flush, Dr. Reed? What are you trying to fill in? Uh, well, considering the odds of filling an open-ended straight with one card or five to one against, well, a one card flush draw is more like 4.5 to one, I guess. You'd say if I was smart, I'm drawn to a flush. Hmm. I think I'm going to go all in on this. <clears throat> So, are you? Am I drawn to a flush or am I smart? Either. Well, I'm, you know, I'm provably a genius, but uh, actually, I was drawn to a full house, eights over sixes. <sighs> I always forget you're from Vegas. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry, not so fast. I too have a boat, jacks over threes. Wait, you drew three cards to a full house? That's like a hundred to one against. Ninety-seven to one. Looks like you're out. Hey, Princess. It's in the wind. I'm sorry, what? Come on up. I gotta know. What the hell is this in the wind weekend in Atlantic City? <sighs> Eric, I have a tremendous amount of respect for you. But there's some questions that if you have to ask them, it means you probably couldn't handle the answer. There is a whole nother side to that woman. I never lose. A whole nother side. Well, hello. What, did you join a boy band? <laughs> no. <laughs> no obvious motivation. Pure evil. Uh, evil can't be scientifically defined. It's an illusory moral concept that doesn't exist in nature. Its origins and connotations have been inextricably linked to religion and mythology. This offender has shown no signs of any belief.